Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix of Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really nice sized, I'm going to call it a boat bag because it just, every time I look at it, I just think of a boat, this bit here. I don't know, maybe you can see it as well, but that's what it makes me think of. So this is my boat bag, handbag. And uh, yeah, and I just think it's come together really, really nicely. I love the shape. It's again, it's evolved from a treat bag that I've done and I'll link that one up here. It's just a bigger version than that, but I decided to do the sides differently. And then you have your Velcro closure here, and then inside you can see you've got lots of space. It's deconstructed, which I like, because you just seem to have a lot more freedom, you know, with, with making gift bags and the sizes that you want. Love the handles, I've done this style before as well, and I will share my handbag style playlist along here somewhere during the video, so check that out. But uh, yeah, this one measures, Nine and a half by three and a half, and then your height is it's eight and a half. So it's a really nice size, and you don't have to have this on. This piece is optional. So if you, if I pop that in there, imagine the dot's not there. You can have it just like that, so it's nice and open. And if you've got tissue paper and things like that sticking out the top, let me show you how to make this very easy gift bag. Okay, so this is the paper pad I'm using. It's the Paper Addicts Fever Forever. I don't have much left of this one, but it's just such a bright and colorful pad. It's really good for birthdays. So I've got this lovely polka dot paper. So I'll give you the measurements for that in a moment. I've already done one side. So for the front and backs, you need two pieces of nine and a half by 12, okay? And along the 12 inch side, you want to score it three and a half and then, have that score line towards the bottom and then along the short side here, the nine and a half side, just put a little marker at one and a half, so just a notch in the cardstock at one and a half and eight. So that should be one and a half in from that side as well. Do that on both pieces. Then you will want two pieces that are four and a half by six. Along the six inch side, you want to score at five. And then along the four and a half side, you want to score at half an inch and then four inches. Do that on both pieces. Fold and burnish those score lines. Okay, and then for the decoration on the front or the back, I'm not sure yet whether this is gonna be the back or the front. I've only got this one piece because I might do something different on the front, which I'll show you when we get to it. But this is a piece of nine and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And along the nine and a quarter side with a pencil, do a pencil line at one and a half and a pencil line at seven and three quarters, okay? And we're gonna cut from the pencil down to this point, and again, from that pencil down to that point to give us an, an, the perfect matte shape to put on the front or the back of your, bar, your bag. But if you do wanna do this on the front and back, then you'll need two pieces of this size. Okay, so you'll have two pieces like this, so you just wanna fold and burnish the bottom score line. And then where you've got those little markers there, that's where we need to trim. And what we're gonna do, now if you want, you can draw a pencil line from, let me do it on this one, from that little notch down to the top of the score line, okay, but to the very corner. So it will be there. Okay, and then you can cut straight down that. You're cutting to the corner of this piece here. All right, don't go all the way down to this corner because that's the base. We just want to have that shape, that tent shape, just on the front panels. So just lie it on your trimmer and make sure you've got the pencil line on the blade edge here and then that bottom score line point on the other bit, on the bottom of the blade as well. And you're just going to join that across. I can rub that pencil line out in a minute. And then just flip it over because your indent should have gone through onto the other side and do the same. Just lie it down and make sure that that lines up. Okay, so now you've got that shape. You want to do that on both pieces. Then with your decorative papers, again, you're going to lie the pencil so it's on the track and then that point Again, I can rub away all that in a moment. And then that side there, just pop in. Make sure the point's on the blade and the pencil mark. Okay, so you should have two pieces of this shape, which is your front and back, and they should sit perfect together. And then one or two pieces of decorative paper. And then these ones here, you just wanna fold and burnish those 
three score lines which we did before and then the bottom here where you've got that fold you just want to cut up to that first score line okay and then again that one there like so and then just cut across and across there cut it on a slight angle so you just mitre the bottom there just so everything folds in but you should have two like that you don't need to mitre the top because we're going to stick that the way we stick it in it doesn't need to be but now you should have those pieces which are our sides ready to stick okay also just take off the bottom bit there I forgot to mention that because you don't want any of it overhanging I'd already done that one okay so with one of these pieces this is going to be the front flip it over so this is facing you and this is going to be the base you're going to add glue to the bottom here and then you're going to stick it right to the edge here so the score line of this, this folded piece lines up with the, the bottom here so if you fold it over you can kind of wiggle it around until it all lines up perfectly you see this so when that comes up that's going to be like this. This is going to stick inside there and that's going to become the side of your bag. Looks really nice. I love the polka dot on this one. Okay, so just make sure that that's all stuck down. Then you want to do the same on this side here. So again, just add your glue and just spend a minute just again lining that all up. Okay, then we want to add some glue along our tabs here. You can use double-sided tape so it doesn't have to be liquid glue. This is my Kalau glue. I've just popped it into this bottle because it's got a, a fine point. So I find that it comes out much, much better for me. So that's, that's what it is if anybody's wondering. And then you just want to bring this up and just line up the side there. So you get a perfect side to the uh, gift bag there. Okay, so you can see how that's all coming together. You can go inside here now, make sure that all sticks down. And then do the same on the other side there. And then I'm gonna bring that across, and again, just stick it to the side, like so. Okay, so that's that now, okay, and that's gonna be the front. This back piece is going to stick inside here. Okay, so we're gonna put glue all on the base, and then we're gonna stick our sides in exactly the same way. So just push that in there, like so. All right, you can see there how that all comes together. Now, I'm just thinking what I might also do is I'm gonna score the sides of these. So I just wanna show you how it, you can easily still add score lines even when you've started putting things together. If you pop it on your scoreboard so your top of your scoreboard is facing you and lay this all in so it is butted right up to the corner there okay so just push this corner right into the corner of your scoreboard like so and then just score at one and three quarters you don't have to do this I'm just gonna I just thought actually it might look nice with the score line one and three quarters and just score it all the way down so if I just bring this up because I know you can't see but in there can you see I've just done a score line at one all the way down to the bottom. Okay, you can just see the score line there. All right, so then I'm just gonna flip this over. Again, butt it right up into the corner. It will go, because again, you're working with easy angles, and one and three quarters, and just score all the way down. You'll see my score line there. And then what I can do is just fold that out. It's up to you whether you want it out or in actually to be honest because you can go I do it that way you can have it folded inwards like so okay and once the back's on that will all fold in like this or you can have it out and I think it's going to look quite nice out it looks like a boat I like that so add them in if you want to it's entirely up to you and you get very different looks with your gift bags if you do so now we can stick this one on the top here now if it goes in and it's a little bit you find it kind of catching just cut a little slither off of the ends off of the sides here so I'm just gonna so you're just doing a very very slight mitre really you're just taking a very small wedge off of there just to help you slide that in 
like that. There we go. So what I'm going to do, because I think it'd be easier, is I'm going to put the glue on the bottom here. Again, I'm using the Kalau because it dries nice and stiff, so it's perfect for reinforcing the base of your gift bags and boxes. It really does add a lot of strength. And then just pop it in slightly higher, get it right in, and then just lower it down onto the base there. And it should sit in there perfectly. So just spend a minute just making sure all that glue spreads out. Okay, and then just kind of fold it back a bit. Fold in these tabs here. And you can do one at a time, but it might be easier if you do them both at the same time. And then just fold that in. If you kind of just kind of hold the top in place for a second, and then it should kind of grip. Okay, so where you've got the join there, that's the back. So the front you should have that cardstock that wraps right the way around. And then when you squeeze the top, look at that really cool effect you get on the bottom. Love, love, love this bag. Okay, next you want to stick your decorative paper over the top. I've decided I am going to have this on the front because once we add the handles, and I'll go through all this with you next, and then I've also got my happy birthday here, which is from my new die. This one here, it's the Creative Expressions by Sue Wilson. And I shared this in last week's What Did I Get video. And it's just such a nice size happy birthday. I wanted something that was big to use on gift bags and, um, and so on. And it's just, yeah, it's lovely. So what I've done is I've die cut it in the matching yellow. And I've die cut it again with some fun foam. So it just gives it dimension. So once I stick this onto here, you see there you've just got a shadow and it just gives it a little bit more something than just sticking it on there direct. So I'm going to use my, again, my strong glue and just stick this down. So if you've got one for each side, then pop yours on the back as well. But I'll sit that one perfectly over the top. Oh, okay, so that's that one. Next, we want to add our handles. So I've already done this one here and you see how lovely that is all going to look. Look at it, Ooh, I love it. I get so excited with bags. Oh, a little bit mad. Anyway, okay, so these here are, now mine are the length of the Lidl cardstock, so this is A3. Okay, doesn't matter if it's not A3, just have yours to 12, it's still gonna work okay. And it's by one inch width. Now what you wanna do is along the one inch width, I'm just gonna pop it in the middle here just so it's easier for you to see. So I've got it lined up at the five and a half to the six and a half there. And you want to score, not from the very beginning, come up about one and a half inches. It's just an estimate, don't worry if you're slightly, you know, off. But just score as far down as you can and keep it nice and straight, which I didn't do there. Let's do that again. There we go. And then if you just kind of slide it up, keeping it in the track, and then just keep scoring down until you're about one and a half up there. You just want to score through the middle but not touching the ends because what we're going to do is we're going to create this like triangle piece. I've done this handle before in other gift bags so again some of you may be familiar but do that on two pieces and then you just want to fold down the score line okay and it should fold over halfway. Then what you want to do is at the end here where it's where it gets to that point is just kind of push it back on itself and you'll get this kind of triangle you see there? So all I've done, it was like that, I just pushed it against itself. So I'll show you again here. So just pinch it. You'll see it's already starting to loosely form a triangle, but once you push it back, you'll get those two score lines. And you just want to just squeeze them so you've got that. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. It's just going to add this nice little detail. Then I've just punched some circles here, and I'm going to cover them on here. Now, what I've got differently there, can you see my triangles go behind the circle? So what I would do is maybe trim that off, but what I'm going to actually do is still stick them there because I want that length, but I'm going to redo. I'll show you what we're going to do. This is easy. So first of all, you want to glue all of this down here. So I'm just going to run some glue through the middle. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to add some glue to the ends here. I want to keep that length because obviously I've already done that one so I'm just going to change this slightly so I'm just going to stick them so it's covering get it right up to the edges here these are one uh, uh, two and a quarter I think circles oh sorry one and a quarter circle 
okay but you, you can have bigger if you want to it's entirely up to you again I'm going to pop some glue on the end of that one okay and then what I can do is I'm just going to fold it again so it goes down now behind that circle you see that and again with this side you see I'm just going to push it just so that disappears behind there because it doesn't matter if I've got a little bit of a score line you don't really see it actually where I had it before but that's what you want you want the triangle see there to come out um, to go behind the circle there all right and then it will open up a little bit okay so maybe don't have the glue so far down like so just a little bit so it can sit flat on your bag you see there I've only glued so far don't glue all the way down to there so just leave a little bit open and then again with this one here just going to refold that I'm going to put this one on the back anyway and then when you're happy that the glue's all dry whatever side you want to maybe hide anything just curve it on both sides and you will have your handles and I think they look really really lovely like so all right okay so now I'm going to stick my handles on now I am going to use my hot glue I don't usually use hot glue but because of the way these are I want to make sure that obviously they're going to stick so I'm going to have this one on the front you want to have it so that I don't know it's maybe like there it's up to you you could have it right up the top there I think I want to, I want I want this triangle kind of on the bag. So have a little look, play around, and then in terms of spacing, I think I'm going to have it so that I'm coming in from here. That's about three quarters of an inch. Again, it's entirely up to you. There is no kind of right or wrong with that. But I want to have it. Yeah, I think about there looks really nice. So let's pop some glue on the back of this one. I'm quite generous with it because I do want to make sure this is not going to go anywhere. So let's go there. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I mean, they're not going anywhere. If you want to reinforce them any more, and it can look quite decorative as well, is you could put a brad through the centre. I may well still do that. And then you could just punch some more yellow circles to cover the brad on the inside. So I'm going to do the rest and see how that all comes about. But isn't that gorgeous? I wish that was like, again, a real handbag. I really like it. Okay, and... Now you can see they all line up perfectly. It's very neat. You can see inside there you've got lots and lots of room with this one. So now I'm going to stick down the happy birthday. Okay, so I went ahead and had added this bit and again, I think I need to <laughs> keep saying I've got to look at my camera but I keep forgetting because it didn't record. But basically this piece here is optional because you may not even want it to close completely, you know, together like that because what you might already have a gift in mind to go inside and it might be quite a chunky gift and therefore you don't need to have the closure. But if you do want this closure, then you want to cut a piece of cardstock that is three and a half by three and along this three and a half inch side because I've done it that way you want to score at two and three quarters which is this score line and then fold and burnish that piece there is what then I've stuck on the back and all this will be overhanging this little piece to decorate here is two and a half by two and three quarters okay and then I just rounded off the edges and then I've just added one of my 20 mil hook and loop dots inside there so it's nice and strong and just make sure everything's lined up when you go to stick it all together okay so there you have it I just think it looks really really fun I love the colors I've chose it's really bright really fun I whether or not I put brads on depends what I end up putting in this I've got someone in mind that it will go to but I haven't brought the gift yet so the gift will now work around the gift bag so <laughs> as long as it fits in here but I think it looks great I love this kind of boat look on the side I might call it a boat boat bag because I do think it looks like a boat so anyway there you have it hope you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more thanks for watching bye